In this video, you'll learn about the radial layout, a layout group that uh, sets its child elements in a radial arrangement. Let's go! Just like the horizontal, vertical and grid layout groups, the radial layout is another layout group that um, arranges its elements in a radial arrangement. And let's create one. So we got a doozy, layouts, radial layout. And right away we have a simple game object with a radial layout script attached. It doesn't do anything by itself because you need to add some um, elements inside of it. So let's create a um, UI image and let's also add a text inside of it so that we can uh, we can see which, which side the, the image is pointing at. So let's put it like this. Let's make it a bit bigger. So we have a radio layout and this A. Because we only have one single element, you can arrange that. But let's duplicate this. Let's create a few more. So let's say this will be A, this will be B, just so we can see the, the order. B, C, D, E, and F. All right. So we have these items. We can increase and change the radius. We can change the minimum angle and the maximum angle. So you can do a lot of things with it. And you can also change the start angle. Of course, right now they are uh, they're going uh, counterclockwise so if you want to change the order just click this and they will jump and now you have them in another order you can also add some extra spacing if you need it but this may cause undesired effects so just be aware of that all right so your spacing it depends on your particular setup let's say i wanted to have a fan right here so I can put it like that and check it out and let's make it clockwise. So you see, you can change the, you can change the, the way they are arranged. Let me also change the color just a, thin, a tiny bit so we can differentiate between, um, between them. All right. So now you can see when they are overlaid one on top of the other. Some other options. Well, you can say rotate children. And now you will see that when we rotate them, they also get rotated. Let's disable the option. See how they look at the screen. And now let's rotate them. They rotate with the layout. You can also set a custom child rotation. So let's say I want them to always point like that. And now, yeah, this changes everything. Again, we disable rotate children, and this is the effect we, we get. Another thing we, we can, uh, another option that uh, we can add is that uh, we can set to control the child width. Right now, they are set to 100, but we can also change it to, to say, to 50, or maybe to 200. And yeah, you can uh, see how it affects them. Uh, you can also set the radius to affect the size of the width. So, as you can see, we increase the radius and also the child width increases and vice versa. So you can create a lot of effects with uh, this particular setup. And this is how much the effect can, um, can influence, how much the radius influences the child width. Check it out. Let's increase the radius factor. And yeah. Again, you can also control the child height. So let's put the same settings. And again, radius controls height. And let's say four and four. So if we increase the radius, you will see that they also get bigger. Let's disable control child width. And now only the height will get uh, changed. Yeah, so you get the idea, you have a lot of options available and you can create a lot of menus or arrangements depending on your particular use case. Let's uh, set them to 64 by 64, let's say 128, 128, and you can see you have a lot of options. Yeah, 
So this is it for the radio layout. It can be used in various ways. You can even animate the values and you can also use it as a menu should you want to do that. And that's it. Thank you.